Let's build the watchtower. The first thing I'm going to do is going to cut the bottom of the house structure. Now this is a piece of scrap like I usually have. Um, to make a square, you can either measure or you can take one of these pieces and lay it on top of another piece. And now when you cut this, if you held it good, it has to be square because this is the same as that. Right? Now we've cut the, the base to our tower. Okay, in the drawing they show that you cut notches for each corner big enough for the legs to go into. So if you use a leg and you can look, you can use this to help start your measuring. So I, I just usually kind of will do something like that, make a small cut, and now I can tell where it is. This would be something that would be good to do off the edge of a table. Because of the video, I'm going to do this upright. So you just want to do one little cut here, one little cut here. And again, the secret is, is to make it about the size of that square. right? And then, high speed, let's do the rest. Okay, there we are. So now, the next thing is let's build the walls. You're going to want the walls to be as wide as this piece here. So if you lay it down like this, line things up, make your cut, now it will be right. Now to make these two match, let's use the first one as the template for the second one. Cut it, and now we have our two side walls. Now, there's a little angle to the top of the roof. We'll cut those both at the same time. Try, try to aim for the corner so you don't waste any material. Okay, now we've cut them both. I would also go ahead and drill them both at the same time so your holes will be lined up. They just use a hole for the window. With the large drill bit, lots of small back and forth movements as compared to just one big twisting is best. I usually take a moment and peel out the piece from inside, and now we have our two matching holes. Okay, so why don't we just go ahead and install those. I'm going to use some long nails. As usual, this is a good way to do it. You just start your nails here as long as you've sort of eyeballed them so it's going to be about the middle of the board. You, that's the only thing you need to think about. Now, when you stand this up and hold it, it's going to be a lot easier to nail. Okay? This is also something that off the edge of a table would be good. It would be a little bit easier. Or if you have um, the miter box, you can even potentially use that. Okay, so let's high speed the other side, making sure that we have the point the same way. Now that we're done with this piece, let's put the roof on. This is one where you, you just do this by eye, whatever looks good to you. I'm going to say I think that I want my roof to be a little bit wider than my building, so I think about like this. Yeah, sure. Got on top of my scrap. Now, if you wanted to even have fun, let's... Uh, you know what? I'm going to put some shingles on this roof. It's not in the drawing, but I'm going to do it just to show you that you don't always have to do exactly what's in the drawing. Now we can put this on and we can have uh, some shingles. Yay! Now when you put this on, so let's put the roof on. The way I'm going to do it is figure out about how much overhang you want everywhere and then hold one side in the center. Now I mentioned we're going to put on some shingles, so I'm just going to add one more piece and then we'll nail right through both pieces into my side body. Now just take a time and then go do the other one making sure that all your gaps seem equal. Come in from the other side, put, push that in. Watch your fingers. Okay, so now we'll put one more nail at the top. This is where we can add uh, another row of shingles. Again, just for speed, I'm going to push them in with my fingers. Okay, so now we have a little stepped effect there, and we've got our, our house built. Um, we can go ahead and finish this with the flag. Time for the drill bit. Just drill through these two layers. Okay, now, just to make the, help the flag stand strong, 
I'm going to drill a hole as best I can directly below this one to this one. Okay. Now when we stick our flagpole in, we can take it all the way to the bottom and it'll be extra strong and it'll stand nice and straight. So now you can say, I think I want my flag to be about this tall. We can lay it down, cut that. Use a piece of your scrap is always good. Um, here's a piece of scrap I have. I'll just cut that to what I think is flag shape. And now we can nail it on with three little nails or screws. Um, again, I will just push these in. Now it shows in the drawing that there's a small spacer piece across the front of this to help secure things. As luck would have it, I have a piece of scrap from before that I think looks good. Of course, you can cut your own. But I'm just going to go ahead and use the little scrap piece because, as I said, I like to save my material and I think it will look just as good. Sometimes accidents are the best thing. So, let's attach little s this piece. That'll help make things stronger and it also just looks fun. Okay, so now let's get to the legs. So we need four legs, and you need to decide how tall you want your treehouse, your watchtower to be. I don't think I'm going to go all the way. I think I'm going to actually do it about here. This is completely up to you what you want to do, but what I like to do is I'm going to cut not all four at once, but I'm going to cut two at a time. Four is probably too many to hold with one hand. And now you take, put that aside, you take the first one, you line up two more. All right, now you can hold those two. That's just a nice, safe way of doing it. Now, the next trick is to figure out how big the spaces are for the legs. This is, if you lay your, your treehouse like this, you can guess, you can now measure or you can put your piece right up against here and this will be this distance will be exactly right. So you want to cut that once. And then we're going to I'm going to cut another one that's going to be for the other side. Oops. On my scrap piece I will cut. So, let's line up two legs, sort of make it look like a ladder and then assemble that. I always find it easier to push the nails in first before you try to hammer, especially when you're doing something small like this. In fact, because we're going to be going into the ends of this, I recommend using the screws instead of the nails that are in the drawing. It's hard to attach the smaller pieces together with nails, so I find it easier with screws. You can decide what you like to do. but this will hold very well and it's also easier to put in as compared to trying to hammer this little skinny piece. It's your decision. Okay, so I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm going to do this to all my pieces uh, high speed. Now we need to make a second one of these. So I'm going to make sure that these are the same. There, about the same, and now I'm going to go ahead and make a second one. If you use the first one to sort of line up the second one, things will look better. Okay, so now we've got two, and these are going to be the mirror sides, and we need to connect them this way. But I think what's going to be easiest is if we just go ahead and put them on the building first. Again, I'm going to suggest using screws as compared to the drawing, which shows nails. High speed! Okay, so it's still wobbly, but at least we've got it together. Now they show using one square piece to cross. 
line it up again this is your width that you want so don't try to measure here measure here I think if you just put that on there you can move it aside and cut okay we need two of those so I will just take the first and use it as the second or to cut the second voila and now we would just put that in here more screws Okay, and there we have our watchtower. It's kind of hard to see it that um, from where the camera angle is right now. But as you can see when you lay it down, it is a little tower. Here, let me tilt up and we'll look on the wall. Okay, so it is a little watchtower. You can probably even you know put your action figures in here and let them do battle or watch as the case may be. All right, so that is how to build the watchtower with Real Construction Deluxe Set.